What's up, everybody? Will from the podcast here. It's that time of the year where you need your holiday whiskey survival kit. Let's go. All right, everyone. It's a week out from Thanksgiving when I'm recording this video, and everyone knows that means you're traveling to see family. You're going to be stuck around a lot of people, and you're going to need your whiskey survival kit to get through it. So what are you packing this year? Well, I'm gonna give you a few tips on what I'm taking with me for the holidays, and hopefully you can find some bottles that fit your criteria as well. I also wanna hear from you what you're packing. Put it in the comments below. Subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. So let's go to bottle number one. When you're at Thanksgiving or Christmas, uh, a lot of times the drinking starts early in the day. So you need something that's gonna get you all the way through it. Something a little bit lower proof, but you wanna be able to mix it if needed or drink it neat if needed as well. So you're also not gonna to wanna to spend too much on this bottle. That's why I'm going for this bottle, something that's become a little bit more of a favorite of mine recently, and that's George Dickel Eight Year Bourbon. It's a relatively new product. It's eight years old. It's only about $35, but it's, it's Tennessee bourbon. It's not just their Tennessee whiskey. I've really started to like this. It, it's easy drinking, 90 proof. Uh, doesn't have that kind of uh, sulfury, mineral, dickel flavor that a lot of people are turned off by. This one, it's 90 proof. You can drink on it all day and you can share some with people. They can mix it in Coke. You're not too worried about it, but this is your longevity drinker. You're going to need this one around. So something in the 90 proof range, you can sub any bottle in these criterias that fit your taste profile and you're probably going to do okay. But you want to make sure if you're doing a, a significant amount and you want to extend the day, look for something definitely below 100 proof in the 90 proof range. That's kind of the foundation of your whiskey survival kit for the holidays. Next, if you are going out of town or people are coming to you, maybe you want to share something, use it as a conversation starter. So I like to go with something local. So for me personally, I'm going to be taking this Leaper's Fork single barrel. It's from Leaper's Fork Distillery. This one is a 109.1 proof, so a little bit higher. This one's something you can share. You can start a conversation around. It's, it's going to be unique. It's probably something that your family hasn't tried. But if you don't have a local distillery that would kind of meet this category or you think has good enough stuff to take with you, maybe find a store pick, something local that you can use and be like, ah, I go and I buy a lot of my whiskey from these folks. They do really good barrel picks. And so I wanted to bring that along and share it. All right, we're getting to the main course. Now, this is something you're going to have with Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving dinner, we know it's going to have all the sides. It's going to all have all the heaviness. It's going to have the the cornbread dressing. It's going to have the turkey. You're going to have your green bean casserole. You're going to need something to stand up to all those flavors. And also it is Thanksgiving. So this one's a little bit appropriate because I'm going with wild turkey rare breed. So at 116.8 proof, the wild turkey is going to stand up to those flavors. You can have it with dinner. You also probably aren't going to drink a ton of this at dinner, especially if you've been having those 90 proofers throughout the day. But rare breed is always a go-to. I love it. It's fantastic. It's got that wild turkey flavor. It's got the spice to it, but it's got that octane that you're looking for after you've been around the family all day. Maybe you're nursing some wounds from uh, uh, the family football game out in the yard. This one's going to be a good one to go to. And uh, once again, you can share it with people, but warn them before they, they drink the higher proof bottle um, that it's going to be a little bit more high proof. Now, it doesn't have to be wild turkey. I love doing wild turkey for Thanksgiving, obviously, because I'm corny like that. But uh, you can do anything higher proof. I think is going to go well with your Thanksgiving dinner and also kind of take you on into the evening. Now, this next category is uh, what I like for almost a dessert. Maybe if you're just sitting around, you're winding down from the day, dinner's over, maybe the kids are bed, maybe there's a movie on, you're starting to watch the Christmas movies because they all start around Thanksgiving. But I like to go for something finished here. Also, it could be a time to uh, introduce some people to whiskey that maybe you're used to just drinking wine or, or beer or cocktails or, or something of the like, but not really whiskey. You could bring something finished in, maybe a little bit sweeter notes to it because it has the finishing on it. But personally, this year, I'm taking the 
the Jefferson's Straight Rye Cognac finished. I really like this one. It, it takes the proof back down. It's 94 proof. Um, I think anything finished would fit this bill really well. Maybe something that's wine finished. Maybe find a High West product, maybe a single barrel High West that's been finished in some sort of wine barrel or a port barrel. Anything like that to kind of cap the day, cap the evening and share with people. People at that point may have had other drinks. They'll be more willing to accept trying some sort of new whiskey. But I think that any of anything in that finished category would be a nice dessert to round out the day and to hopefully have gotten you through uh, all the family and chaos throughout the day. So that's it. That's my whiskey holiday survival kit. It's, uh, it includes something that you're going to be able to drink on for the majority of the day. So something a little bit lower proof. It's going to include something that is local that you can share, use as a conversation piece, maybe something to, to open up to your brother-in-law you haven't spoken too much or, or don't know too well, and you need something to talk about. So you've got that. Then you've got your, your main course that goes with dinner, something a little bit higher proof, traditional bourbon flavor, very American. You need that with your turkey. And then round out the evening with a dessert, something finished, just something has a little bit of different flavor to it just to end the evening and day right. Hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving. And if you're researching this later because you're going into the next holiday at Christmas, we hope that this serves you well. It, the same categories apply. These are the four whiskeys you need in your whiskey holiday survival kit. But if you don't know about us, we're the podcast. Go ahead and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And go ahead, like I said, put down below what you're taking in your holiday whiskey survival kit. I'd really like to see it. You can even comment on mine, what you like, what you didn't like. Doesn't hurt my feelings. This is just happens to be what I'm taking with me. If you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash the podcast. If you want to get some exclusive single barrels to maybe take with you as your local or conversation piece whiskey for the next holiday, go to oakandthieves.com. These are barrel picks that Grease and I do with our buddies Bob and James over at BS and Bourbon. Oak and Thieves, it is our barrel club, and we'd love to have you a part of it. And you can get some exclusive barrel picks, oakandthieves.com. That's going to do it for this video on how to survive the holidays. We'll talk to you next time. We don't know Jack, but we'll drink it.